What's up gamers, Old School Fool here, and like always, we always try to give you new and informative ways to keep you up on your game, and that includes taking care of your games. For instance, we've done some videos on keeping your classic games clean, we've done some stuff on restoring Nintendos, we've even done some stuff with the original PSP, and now, we're bringing it back to CD and DVD, and of course, just uh, anything disc-related media. Alright guys, uh, as you might already know, you might have a little brother, you might have a little sister, you might have a half little brother and half little sister, and uh, or maybe just one that looks like a girl and not really a boy and vice versa, and they just chew and destroy your CDs. Uh, scratch, they use them as coasters, you know, just don't respect your stuff, period. Over the past 10 to 15 years, CD media and disc media has been a big uh, purveyor of keeping your games. Uh, as opposed to cartridge, CD has been really big. So what do we do when the CDs get damaged? Well, a lot of people just toss them out. But it seems that as if now you don't have to do that anymore. Now there's a way to keep your games and your CDs and your music and your movies professionally restored and reconditioned to almost factory new condition, not only through the services that we provide, but also on your own personal level. And we're going to show you today how to take care of some of the games that look like this. As you might already know, the CD and DVD games can be easily damaged. Though they say about talking about they store them for years and years, I mean hundreds of years, and they don't degrade, but they don't tell you about, like, grease stains or just age. For instance, like this original PlayStation 1 import title, Street Fighter Alpha 3. If you look at it, you see how it's stained? It's like almost like faded. It just doesn't look good. Believe it or not, even if this does play on your PlayStation 1, it's going to skip, it's going to destroy the performance of your game, it's just not going to work well. So, something like this, and this is a great classic game, you want to be able to restore it. Also, original PlayStation 2 titles. Original PlayStation 2 was infamous for doing this little, you see really close, there's like this little ring on the actual disc itself. They used to, you put it in the disc and the tray would make an actual ring around the disc. So it was just, it really wasn't the greatest on your CDs. So even if you kept your CDs intact, the systems, even Xbox 360, all types of other systems would destroy your games. Or just carelessness, like the coaster game. Look at that. That thing is just destroyed. As you can see, just, just awful. I mean, you wouldn't want that to grace your system. And other games that look even worse than that from third world countries. Look at that. That thing is just dastardly looking. No way in the world is that working in your system. But now, we're going to show you exactly how we can actually restore these games. So let's take a look at how bad these are and how nice they're going to be in a few minutes for you to play. So what exactly do you need to bring your CD, scratched up, DVDs, game, and just disc media back to life? Well, you could probably use that old thing they want to call toothpaste. I suggest not. Or maybe that horrible little thing that you used to grind, evenly grind your CDs, like the Skip Doctor magically puts grooves in your discs, or you could use, bing, you could use this bad boy, and what this is, is the JFJ Easy Pro. It's a semi-professional uh, unit for your home. I mean, you don't have to do a ton of CDs to warrant the cost for this product. I mean, it's just a great product. It's a semi-professional unit kind of like the ones we use here at Video Game Central for thousands of CDs but on a smaller scale. So let's take a look. We've unboxed it for you already. Uh, what you get is the Easy Pro, JFJ Easy Pro machine. Okay, It has uh, several different settings, power switch. Take a look at it. It's a nice, it has it's very uniform, little nice little tight piece, built like a tank. Okay, It's got the uh, top fastener, bottom, Overall, it's literally about 12 and a half inches high by 12 and a half inches long. It's really not that big, but it does a heck of a, heck of a job. And of course, we have uh, it comes also with the polishing compounds which you're going to need. It comes with two types of buffing pads. It comes with two types of sanding pads. Instructions, which I suggest you read, even though you watch this video. Cleaning solution, coarse and uh, of uh, actually, semi coarse and fully coarse sanding pads, a sham, high quality sham, and of course, a nice box to put it in. All this good stuff. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's go with the first steps on how to refinish, refix, and resurface your games professionally. So let's take a look. How do we do this? Well, first thing is, as you'll notice, that there's an actual peg 
on the with a piece of paper on when you first get it. So what you want to do is you want to unscrew the top, and it shows you there. Take away, place firmly down. Okay, and you want to screw the top evenly and firmly. Now you don't want to go too tight because you, this is a lot of pressure going here. If you you know you can actually crack the rim, but you a nice firm. You know, it's pretty stable. As you can see, it's nice and stable. It's not going anywhere. With these particular grades of uh, of damage, you want to make sure that you don't overdo it on each one. I mean, there's a certain amount of of steps required for each degree of damage. For instance, this is like a, a level one. This really could just be used. Could be just be buffed out. So literally anything with from light surface scratches to stains. It's a quick one-step process, as opposed to a you know a cat scratch, a, a surface floor scratch, something that's really damaged very badly. You're going to want to use the sandpaper, the two-step, the three-step process. But, so step one for the light buffing and stain removal, we'll take the buffing pad. As you can see, there's a black bottom. You put it on the bottom right there should be flush. And we're going to take solution number two. Even though it's, it says number two, it's the first one you use every single time. So it really should be solution number one, but maybe they can't count. So as you can see, this stuff is white. Now what you want to do is you want to, you actually want to cover the, the pad, lightly cover the pad. So now as you can see, it's a nice even amount, kind of like a Bob Ross painting. On something like this, I would recommend about a one minute time. So let's fast forward. Yeah. Alright, so now it stopped after the one minute. And we're gonna unhook it, unlatch it. You'll see there's a little white solution on there still. And you want to leave this on, this is the first step. Sit on this lighter one, it's a step, two step process. You want to take the other buffing pad. Place it firmly. And there again, once again. And this time, I'm going to use the solution number one. It's kind of backwards, but once again, solution number one is going to be the second application. You don't want to do too much, you want like a nice, even amount. goes a long way. So as long as the entire head is covered for the first few rounds, you're good to go. And now whatever you do, if you have to stop the machine short, do not open up the lid without closing the power or clicking the buttons or having the button go on the buttons click. Because if you do that, you actually damage your head and you can damage your game even more. So do not open the lid while the machine's in motion. Okay? So now what we're going to do for the second buffing, uh, light buffing, we're going to go for two minutes. As you can see, there's a little bit of a light film there. So, from what I'm looking at, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take it off, unscrew the cap. Now, the CD obviously might feel a little warm to the touch, so don't fret. It's not that hot. Take one of the lint-free cloths. Just wipe off the excess. Now what you want to do is you want to wipe it off in a circular motion, almost like you're buffing out a car. So wax on, wax off. And as you can see, the factory finish is renewed. That. This will definitely play in my PlayStation 1 or 2 or of course the early Mine 3 ones now.